Uh, good morning, my dear students. So, in my last class, I have just started with uh, very basic introductions of the switch mode power conversion, where I have discussed about why the different layouts. Okay, layout of the <coughs> switch mode power converter. Layout means uh, what are the important motivations for the switch mode power converter and uh, and uh, normal differences with the linear power converter. Okay, the differences also been discussed uh, some of my upcoming slides okay basically that converters that switch mode converters that we have uh, going to be uh, discussed elaborately okay that uh, that converter normally using for the power processing okay so power processing means that uh, in my last classes okay two or three classes i have discussed that um, that normally the converters are using for transforming the power from uh, in low side to sorry transferring the power from input side to or line side to lower side okay or lower side to line side okay vice versa okay whatever as per your uh, control logic okay so that will be decided by uh, yourself okay so that power input whatever power input is there and what kinds of power output will come so basically conservation of the energy so both side of the power should be constant okay Definitely, the output power will be quite less than your uh, input power based on your uh, used devices. Okay, if devices are more energy efficient, okay, more means less losses are there. So, uh, uh, automatically that uh, uh, automatically that portions will be nullified. Means uh, it will not be in there. Okay, means losses less means efficiency will be more another problem also be there if sometimes it has been observed that if you increase the power level okay not for the normal so if you increase the power level again that efficiency is going to be lose okay that's why different uh, pattern that means switching pattern you need to be modified okay so here we are normally going to discuss different conventional switching patterns sometimes what happen we are also been uh, focused on the, also been focused about some uh, unconventional switching method also okay that is not all the time not in written in the books okay now some unconventional switching method means what uh, some combinations okay some combinations means uh, as per their switching logic as per the data sheet you are going to be uh, design that uh, special type of switching methodologies okay so uh, conventional okay but it is derived from the conventional okay so basically uh, based on your application you are going to be discussed okay so first selection of the power converters okay so what type of power converters we are normally going to be selected okay uh, everything is depends upon our application so what type of applications are there okay so based on it we are going to be select the converter types okay so if we have some uh, applications like if we have some uh, sorry availability of the source and the applications okay so if we have some ac source and our application like that uh, load is required for dc okay dc load is available so what type of power processing unit will be there definitely ac to dc power processing units are needed okay so you can say like that there is ac to dc power conversion unit okay or power converting uh, power conversion converter is uh, need to be introduced over there okay so that is number one another thing is that if you have some some example also be there okay so if you have the dc sources and uh, your application in ac ranges okay ac applications are there so what type of power converter is required so ac to uh, sorry dc to ac power converter is needed okay for this application so based on your applications okay and the availability of the source your switching converter can be classified okay not like only switching converter power converters can be classified into four categories okay so what are the four categories okay first one is the dc to dc conversion next one is the dc to ac conversion sorry ac to dc conversion dc to dc conversion means it is uh, uh, it is known as also chopper circuit ac to dc conversions means it is also known as rectifier circuit dc to ac conversions also it is also known as inverter convert inverter okay another one is the ac to ac conversion that is also known as cyclo converter again ac to ac conversion having 
uh, two types okay one is called ac voltage controller another is called uh, cycloconverter but uh, normally what happen we are focused about more focused about the uh, that conversion will be in the range of voltage level as well as frequency level okay if we consider that point of view so ac voltage controller cannot control the frequency okay it can con only control the voltage okay so if we want to control the voltage as well as frequency so we have to go for the cycloconverter and if we want to go for the only voltage level control so we can only be focused about the uh, ac voltage controller okay so normally we with these four types of converter is available in our power processing unit so okay so dc to dc means it is normally used for the change in the control voltage magnitude okay so in case of dc to dc conversion means chopper circuit no need to change for frequency ac to dc electrification so only control the dc voltage level and the ac currents okay based on your input side uh, input side configurations okay dc to dc inversions okay produce the sinusoidal in the control level and the magnitude and the frequency okay both uh, both frequency and amplitude going to be controlled okay here and finally that ac to dc conversion change uh, change and control the voltage magnitude as well as frequency for cycloconversions. Okay, if it is not cycloconverter, if it is only voltage uh, means uh, only AC voltage regulator, so only voltage amplitude can be changed by changing the firing pulse, or you say like that in simple manner, gate pulse. Okay, so firing pulse means it's about your ACR, but ACR now ACR only used for some. Uh, some dedicated application not all for that applications okay so high power application in case of high power application icts are used okay previously that high power applications okay normally acrs are used for very hard I means huge voltage as well as current like 5000 voltage and uh, sometimes uh, more than 5000 voltage also maximum current also it can be carry over around near about the 5000 ampere okay so like the applications you are using the ACR but uh, in that case uh, now different uh, advanced power converters also been available okay like, uh, like IGBT normally we are using for uh, modern switching frequency as well as uh, good power level okay then IGCT the advanced uh, portions of that IGBT okay so that also we can be used so here from the diagram we can see that there is a power is given input and output you are getting some power level but in between the switching converter is there that is processing the power from input side to output side with the basic of the control logic okay so that's the basic structure of the power processing and different types of converters now the control is uh, why the control is important and what type of controls are important okay so Basically, from the study, you can understand that in uh, in uh, power electronics converter having two very most important part. Okay, what are the most important part? One is called the topological portions. Okay, another is the control logics. Okay, so what do you mean by the topological uh, architecture or topological portions? So topological architecture means you uh, first first of all uh, <coughs> first of all. If we we consider for we know that very basic idea about the control system. So basically, what happened in case of control system? If you see, okay, if you see, there is a two type of dynamics in case of control systems. Okay, like transient dynamics as well as resistive dynamics. What do you mean by the transient dynamics? Okay, transient dynamics means okay. So your tra transient dynamics normally. Uh, based on which type of control structures you are going to be used that will be decided uh, that uh, is normally shown in case of <coughs> transient dynamics okay means uh, and steady state dynamics means how its steady state performance are means how much ripples are there how much uh, ripples okay how much uh, sorry uh, <coughs> ripples are there how much uh, means rating okay power rating of the they are that also been decided by your uh, converter topology that is called steady state dynamics and transient dynamics normally behaves uh, based on your controller uh, 
mean strategy control strategy what kinds of control that you are going to be designed for your application that based on your uh, the, the the transient response is based on your control strategy why the transient response is important somehow transient response in as per the control uh, control systems you say like that response time it is also known as response time in a very well manner you know that response time also uh, familiar like a rice time okay means how much disturbances are there okay somehow you are design you have designed a system okay system is working fine okay somehow some perturbations are some of some uh, means small disturbances are coming means disturbance also having small large okay so whatever your tolerable range based on it you can categorize them okay if the disturbance is within your tolerable band okay means control having some working uh, working domain okay sorry the controller uh, uh, the converter having some working domain okay so when you are going to be design the control uh, converter so it having some uh, I, i have already told you that it having some fixed power level applications okay so it having some input voltage range as well as output voltage range so current may be vary okay in load side current the load side any changes are there means in electrical engineering point of view load stands for current okay so any load side variation means current of the output side is changing okay but i am all uh, i have already discussed that normally what happen power is make it fixed okay so output current is changing means output voltage is doing increasing or decreasing based on your responses okay if the power has been fixed okay so any changes are there within the tolerable limit tolerable limit means if you change the output low, means load up to 50% okay that is okay if it is beyond 50% okay so uh, normally system having some rating okay when you are designed for the converter it having some design value means you are going to be designed them means it having some inductor capacitor okay it having some switch okay how much maximum voltage it can be carried by that converter that also very important question okay so based on it you are you have decided okay so how much uh, maximum value you can be change in input side as well as output side so that range okay the range is important if the range is within the tolerable band okay if the range is within the tolerable band then what happened okay then if you change the uh, if you give the disturbance okay the disturbance is within the range tolerable band okay then what happened your system dynamics has been changed okay how it will be changed suppose uh, you have given some disturbance in load side means suddenly some additional load has connected to your system means converter system then what happened so converter is try to if converter is in stable mode of operation so converter is try to uh, compensate or converter is try to handle that additional load okay within the time duration okay so how fast it is handling them okay if it is in tolerable band repeatedly i am telling if all the system is in stable operation so okay so converter try to handle it or uh, to reach that amount of value okay suddenly what happen in control system you know there is some reference value okay normally what happen in speed controller dc motor so speed controller dc motor as example of a drive okay so whatever you are given means normally what you have done uh, for it so you having some tacho generator okay you are giving some uh, you are giving some sensing the rpm okay but directly you are not giving the reference as an rpm okay so you are giving equivalent reference voltage okay basically you are using tacho generator tacho generator is a transducer example of a transducer so what happen it can convert the rpm to equivalent electrical voltage okay so there is some that, that's why i am telling a generator sensor uh, means there's a cut off flux lines okay so if you know the architecture of the tacho generator so i am not going to repeat them so it can convert that rpm to electrical signals means in voltage okay then that amount of voltage is very less so what you need to do you have to amplify the voltage okay after amplification so that is your actual output okay and what is your reference output you know the very basic structure of ciso okay means series serial input uh, sorry series input series output structure okay normally we are comparing there is a comparator okay so differential comparator we are comparing the Uh, reference uh, reference signal with with our actual signal if your actual signal is 
less so what you need to do you have to amplify again so you have to design some amplifier to amplify it some up to range okay so how much range is it it may be 10 times okay it means comparable reason so that's why it is called some uh, that's why it is called some uh, that signal it is called conditions scale and condition signal will be coming from your sensors okay transducer also known as the sensor sensor is the superset transducer is the subset so transducer is converting that any of the physical quantity to electrical physical signal to electrical signal okay that is called some uh, transducer sensor can be convert any kinds of signal to another form of signal for measuring purpose that is called sensor so transducer is subset of the sensor okay so you are sensing that voltage okay in sensing the rpm okay in the nature of voltage then you will amplify the voltage rate now you have what kinds of voltage you are giving as a reference you are giving that voltage reference means equivalent speed you are converting the equivalent speed to the voltage okay and that voltage you are giving as a reference then what happen it is comparing after comparison you will get some error okay so error after getting the error what you need to do you have to pass that error to the uh, some control block okay controller okay practically if you are normally what kinds of controller we are using we are using pi controller okay so pi controller means it's an integrator one integrator another one is uh, proportional control both will be there in parallel structure i think all of you having some very basic idea about the pi control structure in not like in matlab form okay uh, means transfer function form the structure for experimental form means hardware realization how is it look like that pi controller pid controller lead controller lag controller whatever lead lead controller lead lead lag controller okay whatever applications you have okay whatever control structure you have that practical implementation means practical realization implementation later it will come but practical realization that realization is very important okay. so the controller that signal will coming means error signal is coming to the controller after controller you will get some values means that is called the control signal okay that control signal is comparing again with some repeating sequence repeating sequence means some it may be shorted type of nature it may be triangular type of nature okay so both of the combinations is possible shorted or triangular okay so the frequency of the repeating sequence is decide the switching frequency of your switch okay so how much switching frequency you want to get okay that will be decided by that repeating sequence frequency okay so if you are using some mosfet switch so you can go up to 500 kilohertz range for that repeating sequence okay if you are using igbt switch so you can go up to uh, 25 kilo uh, 10 to within the 10 to uh, 20 kilohertz so based on your batch number okay so it's not like fixed thing okay mosfet maximum will get up to 500 kilohertz but some hospital also available that can only work up to 20 kilohertz so it is some stb 55 n okay and some telling some example okay that voltage range also be less as well as switching frequency good but not up to 5 500 kilohertz based on your uh, system cost okay so you are going to design a system based on that cost parameter you have to select that device okay how much voltage range and how much your frequency range okay what is your required frequency based on it you are fixing up that device okay so how much frequency range so you are selecting the device okay so that repeating sequence will come so after comparing that control signal and the repeating sequence you are getting some pwm pulsed modulating signal okay that pulsed modulating signal you are not able to give directly to the system okay there is some stage okay if you are using mosfet as a switch uh, sorry as a switch so mosfet is an example of a fet okay means field effective transistor so it's a voltage it's a voltage control device so what you need to do directly if you feed the uh, feed that signal to the mosfet so you don't know how much current strength is there okay if current strength is more than your voltage strength or that current strength is more than your MOSFET 
mosfet when you are uh, selecting one mosfet or switch okay it having some rated voltage value as well as some current value okay if the current value is beyond that one so mosfet will not work okay so you have to reduce that current level okay so after that you can also fail okay but voltage level it's some voltage control it's a voltage control device no problem for it so selection of the device also important if you are using vjt power vjt so power vjt also we are using okay so what you what is the problem so power vjt means that is current control device we have to design some the, in that portion we have to give some toten pole configuration or dialington configuration for strengthening up that current level for controlling the device okay that portion is known as the gate driver circuit okay so how you are driving the gate of the switches that also very important okay after driving the gate what happened you are getting that similar frequency pwm but current strength voltage strength you are actually means you are <coughs> you are uh, means scaling down the current and voltage range before feeding the devices okay it's completed then you can feed the devices then what happened so based on your uh, based on your structure it can be work so you can see there is a two loop okay two sorry two circuit one is the one is called the current uh, sorry one is one circuit is known as that control circuit that portion i am telling right now another point another circuit it is called the power loop, power circuit so power circuit means that circuit having means that switch you are giving the pulses you are getting from the control circuit the maximum voltage of the control circuit is 15 volt maximum normally normally what i have been seen till now so it is maximum 15 volt okay but <coughs> power circuit what happened so the you are telling about the switch that switch having if you are considering that mosfet switch so mosfet switch having some drain point uh, some drain terminal and some source terminal so uh, the control signal will be coming to feed the only the gate terminal so another two terminal also be there so your power circuit is connected the mosfet is connected to the power circuit through its drain and source terminal i think all of you realize the problem electrical engineering is totally based on the realization okay so that's the difference with other subjects like civil engineering mechanical engineering i think mechanical some of the portions you have to visualize you have to realize but civil engineering you have to construct everything but electrical engineering entire the thing is depends upon your realization whatever i am telling you have to realize means you have to visualize that portions in your eye and so what is going on okay so power circuit having some uh, so that mosfet also connected to the power circuit through its gain and source terminal okay so if whatever circuits are there in for induction motor means you are going to speed control maybe dc motor i am telling okay so dc motor also connected to your power circuit so normally what happen dc motor input is so the motor how you do control the speed of the motor so normally we are using uh, normally we are varying two things one is called that motor terminal voltage okay means armature voltage or armature resistance another one is field resistance or field current means magnetization portion so how do you control that armature voltage that also be possible if you are using dc to dc converter means available is dc okay means availability of the source also be dc and load type is also dc so you are using dc to dc converter to control the motor terminal voltage okay so or vary the motor terminal voltage okay so what i mean so how to control that value so that uh, if you realize the structure of the dc to dc converter normally we are using what type of converter you say like that motor having uh, <coughs> more voltage okay more it's required some more voltage so boost converter i am considering so boost converter having some dc source okay some dc source after the dc source what is there okay after the dc source one inductor is there okay that inductor is connected in series with your dc source okay then after the inductor then wh what one switch is there okay that is connected most of like, like that parallel means in between the switch and your neutral okay sorry in between the inductor one terminal one of the terminal of inductor connected to the dc source another terminal is connected to the switch okay 
and switch is connected the negative terminal of your uh, dc source and the another terminal of your inductor so uh, switch is connected in between of them okay another terminal of the switch means that common terminal so in one terminal of the inductor that is common common terminal of inductor and switch that is also connected one diode okay so the diode is in uh, connected in reverse uh, sorry for forward mode okay sorry uh, forward mode means pn type means pn junctions it is connected like that okay then the diode is connected with some load and capacitor both are in anti parallel and finally the negative terminal will be or the neutral terminal negative terminal will be connected with that one terminal of that uh, capacitor and uh, that load okay that what type of load you are using that load you are using dc motor okay so you want to vary the terminal voltage of that dc motor okay so how do you vary so only that that switch i am telling that's a mosfet switch okay drain and source it is connected and gate terminal that signal is coming to the gate terminal from your control uh, control circuit okay so you want to turn on and turn off of that mosfet so you can vary the turn on and turn off mosfet how to vary it based on your speed control okay whatever speed of the motor you have achieved that is connected with the taco generator and taco generator gives you the actual speed if you vary the reference speed okay in control system two things is there one is called reference tracking so if your system is in the stable zone of operations okay so if try to catch the reference value okay so what you need to do you, you can control the reference value okay so reference value means that uh, equivalent speed also be there okay based on the equivalent speed as per the reference value you can vary that one maybe some reference voltage you are giving 100 volt okay that stands for 1500 rpm now you are changing that 100 volt to some 110 volt so it having some it stands for sometimes you can scaling down it so how much rpm you are tentatively i am considering 1500 50 i am just considering just for an example okay so if you change, change that voltage level so rpm equivalent rpm also been changed okay so what i mean if your control is working fine so automatically that motor is speed up up to 1500 rpm to 1550 rpm okay are you getting my point so that's why if you increase the level of rpm then what happened that voltage okay that error signal i am telling one differential transfer one differential controller is there between your reference voltage and your actual voltage some error is coming that error is passing through that controller okay so that value is more okay that value is more means error will be more okay if error will be more means your control signal also being strength of the control signal is more control voltage is more so repeating sequence means if you are comparing with the repeating sequence so more dc value is comparing with your repeating sequence so pw means width of the pulse will be more so mosfet will be turned on for the more time period okay so what happened mosfet will be turned on for more time period means your voltage will be coming maybe more okay so that's why more rpm will get are you getting like that that's that kind of logic is there okay i think all of you are able to understand what is the difference between the power circuit and control circuit and power circuit voltage level may be whatever you are asking for it if you are using power switches okay so you can go up to kilo volt range also okay there are kilo volt mega volt okay so power mega uh, megawatt power also no issue okay so there will be no issue based on everything depends upon your logic but control signal voltage means control circuit voltage is not beyond of your 15 volt whatever structure you have based on it you can select it okay there is nothing complicated so what type of controlling strategies are available in this in this field there are normally two types of control available one is called feed forward control another one is feedback control okay so mppt algorithm normally we are using sometimes interfacing converter for fetching maximum power point okay makes maximum power from uh, wind generator or that uh, pv panel in that case we are using feedback control uh, sorry feed forward control feed forward control what is that one means input parameters you are fetching down and you are designing the gate pass based on your input parameter like here you are using power input okay so input voltage 
and input current both of the parameter you are considering okay in feed forward control and the control logic is there and reference all the all kinds of control i am telling you the reference is important okay reference will be same in unit with your feed forward unit or feedback unit whatever unit you have okay both of the unit should be same means uh, otherwise you are not able to compare them for getting comparison both the parameters should be same okay i think all of you getting my point after uh, after comparing with the reference you will get some control input control input means some finally that uh, intermediate states not given here okay that will come in my future lecture okay but i have already discussed okay so what are the intermediate state then you are driving your switching converter but in case of feedback control you are fetching the output side parameter like output voltage output current okay so whatever output voltage current are there that will be coming to, uh, coming by your feedback path and again you are comparing the separate reference okay then you will give the control input to the switching converter so normally when we are using feedback control for the same converter we are not using feed forward control means both feed forward and feedback control normally we are not using together individually we are using as per our applications okay whatever requirement is there based on the requirement you need to design everything okay so it's your availability of the source is your availability of the load okay whatever this uh, whatever uh, means everything you need to design based on the demand okay so i think all of you able to understand my points what i need to clarify here okay if you have any comments any doubt so you can ask me so uh, i can also repeat that portion so if you having some uh, means any confusions anything if you want to ask from my side so i can also repeat that portions okay so after that i'll uh, take the attendance